Hello, I'm Giles Darling and I write novels, plays and non-fiction books. In this video I answer even more questions about a novel I've written called Food Kills, Kill Your Food. Question 9. Why is the novel mostly in the present tense? Apart from the prologue and epilogue, the novel is in the present tense because I adapted it from a screenplay. A screenplay tells a story based on what an audience sees on a screen or hears, for example, via dialogue. When you watch a TV show, film or movie, it takes place in the here and now, even if it tells a story set in the past or future. Your experience of it is in the present. Therefore, my novel is in the present tense. It's a bit like the audio description you can find sometimes on TV, describing what is happening on the screen alongside the dialogue. Like audio description, my novel would sound odd, in my opinion, if it were in the past tense. A disadvantage of this type of writing is that the reader cannot know each character's inner thoughts unless there is a narrator. Therefore, my novel relies on actions, as well as dialogue, to show what characters are thinking and feeling. Question 10. How did I choose the characters' names? Many of the names in this novel were chosen for a reason. For example, the main character's name is Michael, because that sounds a bit like the words my kill. Similarly, his surname is Slay, S-L-E-I-G-H, because this sounds like the word slay, S-L-A-Y, another term for kill. This surname also meant that Michael's father had to be called Robert, or Bob, for short. Michael's wife is called Carol because, initially, he thinks that she was the one who betrayed him to the police. Or, to use the slang phrase, she sang like a canary. Hence Carol, as in carol singer. Michael's teenage son is called Justin because I had some doubts about whether to keep this character, but in the end, he just managed to stay in the novel, hence just in. Michael's boss is called Frank Cheetah, because he runs a taxi company where speed is vital, like a cheetah, C-H-E-E-T-A-H, -E -E but some of his business dealings are a bit shady, hence he's a cheetah, C-H-E-A-T-E-R. Finally, two of the patients at Carol's workplace are Mrs Hurst and Mr Unger. These names are based on the words thirst and hunger, with the first letters removed. There isn't time to list the rest, but I spread all the names through the alphabet, so that names starting with the same letter shouldn't appear together in the same scenes. Question 11. Which is my favourite part of the novel? I have many favourite scenes in the novel. The scenes when our main character is arrested, or when his daughter is being pursued first through dark, deserted streets by an anonymous car, then later through a field by the police, are full of tension. However, my favourite moment is when our hero mistakenly attends a top-secret medical trial. This sequence of scenes makes me laugh. Question 12. What particularly pleased me when writing this novel? I was particularly pleased when I managed to come up with three pastiches, or pastiche, of well-known pop songs. Money, Money, Money by ABBA became Honey, Honey, Honey. Hey Jude by The Beatles became Hey Food. And At First I Was Afraid I Was Petrified from I Will Survive, sung by Gloria Gaynor, became At First I Was Afraid I Was Overweight. Only a few lines from these songs are changed and included in the novel. But if this book ever were adapted for the TV, these snippets of song would be amusing to hear. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it encourages you to buy and read my novel if you haven't already done so. Please also feel free to leave comments below and to like and subscribe this video and my YouTube channel. Toodle pip!